welcome to another video. So today we're carrying on from the 19.10 Ubuntu beta releases, just the uh, sort of first impression run of them. Um, obviously we're at the Ubuntu 19.10 beta now. Um, this will be a bit shorter than the others because uh, not too much has really been updated majorly for this one here. Um, let's have a look here. Let's just read some notes a moment. What has happened? Improved window manager, support for vSync, XFCE 4.14. Right, anyway, so let's just crack on with it. So, for those who have never used XFCE before, you have a top, uh, not X, uh, it's Ubuntu, sorry, um, Ubuntu of XFCE. So, those who've never used Ubuntu before, you have your top bar, or you can move it to the bottom if you so prefer. Go to panel preferences and then you can just where are we unlock the panel and literally just pull it down and you can also flip it to desk bar or vertical if you was wanting it on either side left or right i'm going to keep it at the top because that's where i like to keep my bar and then I, what i will do is remove windows buttons because what i usually do is i'll either have a dock or a plank installed or on my so i've actually got XFCE is Ubuntu on my host at the moment and as you can see I've got Dock Bar X which is a plugin for the XFCE 4 panel. Um, I'm not going to try and do that today with this beta release I'm just going to install Plank with apt-get um, and we'll see how that all looks so we'll check it sort of idle usage of RAM and what programs it comes installed without the box nothing would have really have changed but we'll, um, we'll install Plank now And then while it's doing that, we'll have a little look around. So this is Whisker menu. Um, you have categories of your applications here. So in accessories, you have your file manager, which is probably Funa. Getting a bit of a lag there. There we go. Oh, the icons look quite nice there. I think it looks a bit more modern these days, doesn't it, XFCE? Um, let's just go to help about. So there we go, you've got Funar 1.8.9, which is just a tabbed interface to file browser. And then let's see what else we've got in accessories. You've got notes, mouse pad, which is your text editor. I'll probably uninstall that and install Get It, Education, LibreOffice, Maths, Games. You have mine, so I usually uninstall all of those. Um, it comes pre installed with GIMP, Rosetta. Restretto Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, Document Scanner, Internet is Firefox, Pigeon Internet Messenger. I use Pigeon a lot actually. I've got all the Telegram plugins and all the other things. I use Discord, so I have all of my chat protocols all just run through Pigeon. Um, Thunderbird Mail for your email and transmission again for your torrents. Uh, Parole Media Player, it's not a bad media player. I'd probably still install XFCE. Uh, Excuse me, uh, VLC over that, um, and then you've got your full LibreOffice suite there and a Trill document viewer for things like PDFs and whatever else. So we've installed Plank. Let's just also install a couple of more things. Mm, let's get Tmux and let's install HTOP for now, and we'll just check out a few things. Okay, <clears throat> so let's have a look at what wallpapers it comes with. So this isn't a new one. I've seen this one before. Out and about. Um, there's some spaces here. I'm not too sure why that is. Okay, not a bad selection. Not amazing either. Right. So we've installed Plank now. I need to um, add the whisker pop-up what is it xfce pop-up whisker menu or something like that um i'll tell you what we'll google it i can't really remember it so you just need to go into keyboard shortcuts and add whisker f xfce for whisker pop-up menu or something i uh, can't remember so we'll quickly google it it's taking a while to open firefox here we go so let's just So 
So where's the... There we go, this is what you need. Whisker... XFC for pop-up whisker menu. It wasn't too far off, was it? It wasn't too far off. Okay, so let's just go into keyboard shortcuts. And then what we'll do is go to application shortcuts and we'll add. And then we'll add that command. And then we'll click OK. And then we want left super. So now, as you can see, we're getting the... We're getting what we want to happen when we press the super key. Well, what I want to happen anyway. So let's close Firefox for now. And let's open up Plank. So preferences. And then we'll bring it down a bit. So it doesn't come with a lot of themes out of the box. So what we'll do is we'll also just quickly download shade and no shade theme. So we'll just quickly download this archive here. There we go. And we want anti-shade and shade. It's the only two themes I ever really use for plank. So we'll extract those. Like we always do. Dot local share plank themes. Bang. Show the files. And that's as it should be. Lovely job. And then what we'll go is preferences, and we'll change that back to sh not back to. We'll change that to shade. Lovely. Um, so I don't know why it gives you so many of the same programs in the dock. It always does this though. We'll keep that there. We'll get rid of that. And we'll keep that in the dock. We'll keep that in the dock. Right. Lovely job. Eh? So let's close that. As you can see, it's starting to look a bit nicer now. Um, let's just install. Did I install Hexshop? It's already installed. So what I'm going to do is we're going to do a reboot and we're going to see how much memory we're using at idle. So let's just do a reboot. Um, this virtual machine's I've set it up less than every other one so far because it's XFCE. I've only set up two gig RAM and two core CPUs on this virtual machine. Everything else has had four and four, four cores and four gig RAM. Um, fun fact, actually, before this video, I did attempt to do the Kubuntu release, but it went crazy. So I got about 15 minutes into filming of first impressions, and it just completely died. Uh, so we'll I'll come back to that one maybe tomorrow if I've got the time. So anyway, let's open up HDOP, and we'll do bang. So 413 from idle. That's not too from boot. Sorry. So that's not too bad. Um, we have forgot to add plank to the auto start though, so what we'll quickly do is go to session and start up. Application auto start, add plank. So it will probably use a few meg more than that at start, but that's not too bad. So let's open up plank now. Lovely. Um, so what I usually do on, well, not just Ubuntu, but most distributions I use is I like Albert Launcher. So we'll see if we can get a package for Albert Launcher working on here. Very much doubt it's here. No. Okay, cool. Um, do, 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 do. Where are we? Do, 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 do. Here we go. So let's have a look. Grab binary packages. Do we have a 19.10? No. Let's try the 19.04. So let's just grab this. And then we'll pop it. We'll just pop it in download. Okay, so let's navigate to downloads. And there we have it. So I'm just going to go sudo dpkg. Um, as we've got nothing else in here and I can't be bothered to type out that, we're just going to do a star and that will grab anything that's in the current folder and install it. And then after that, we're going to go install f and then a y so it'll fix anything. It's not quite done, you'll see. 
Well, that's if it even installs. So unpack him. Uh, no, it's not going to do it. Well, no, so it's done the, um, it's gone an error, but what we've done with the install command afterwards, it should fix it. So we should be able to get Albert up and running. I think that will work. So let's just have a quick look at everything else before we finish this video off. Um, so you've got, obviously, say, LibreOffice Writer, sort of your word replacement or alternative. Let's just see what that looks like with the theming that we've got here and how it looks on XFCE now. Uh, any day now. One second, sorry about this. Alright, what's this still doing? Is it still installing? Still 27%, okay. 28. Um, it's going to take a little bit of a while there. What I'll probably do is pause the video here and then we'll reboot when this is done and see how much memory we're then using with Plank and Albert to auto start. Um, and then we'll end the video there. Um, as I say, it's going to be a bit of a quicker video than the others simply because it's not a lot's been updated here. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. So that's pretty much done. So we're going to see if it will actually work. Um, there we go. So let's just, we'll start it from here. Okay, looks like all is good. Uh, let's just do, so I usually do alt space, but it won't work for the moment because something else will have that done. So we'll just do a couple of applications. I usually have files, terminal, and then what we'll do is auto start and login. That probably won't work, so we'll have to add it to the session and start up, which we'll do now. And then we'll quickly reboot, and then that will be that. So session, start up, application auto start. So it says it's already there, so we'll give it a go. So let's just give that a quick reboot now. <clears throat> um, out of everyone that I've tested so far, to be honest, this has been the quickest, um, least laggy and bug free out of all of them, but it was always going to be because it's had less done to it, really. Um, and where are we? Any minute now. There we go. Okay, so Plank started as it should. Let's see if Albert has. And Albert has. So let's open up a terminal and then just do a quick htop. Lovely. So there we have it. We're under 500 meg and we're at about nothing on the CPU. So that's not too bad. I probably will have at least one machine with a Zubuntu 19.10 on just for playing around. I don't keep a long term release on my main computer actually. I tend to jump around. <laughs> I'm a bit of a distro hopper even for my main rig here but um, once they're out of beta I'm going to choose which one I want to use out of all these other first impressions that I've done the only one I'm probably not going to test is Ubuntu Studio because I do believe it's just Ubuntu with XFCE and a few packages could be wrong um, so anyway if you've enjoyed that video um, thanks for watching and please subscribe <laughs>